Hi everyone, welcome to Minecraft Daily. I'm JC and today is Friday the 4th of November 2011. So at the moment Jeb and Notch are over in the Netherlands socialising with a couple of other indie developers. So not a lot of code news because they've been over there doing that. So Carl Munner, the CEO of Mojang, has put out a warning about third parties claiming to sell Minecon tickets. And he says the only way you can transfer a Minecon ticket to a new user is through their official website. So I'll link that in the description if you're interested or if you need that. And you should also note that if you transfer your Minecon ticket to someone else, you won't be able to keep the cape. Um, I don't know if the person it's transferred to gets the cape instead, or if nobody gets the cape, not entirely clear. But anyone who bought the Minecon ticket just for the cape, who's thinking of selling it on to someone else, the moment you do that, you won't actually have the cape anymore. So the first video today is from the brilliant FV Disco, and he's done an analogue clock in Minecraft. So we see lots of digital ones, but this analog one's really, really nice, and it's actually synced to the time in the game. So the time represents whether, you know, it's nearly night time or nearly daytime. And the schematic for that is available for download if you want to insert it into one of your worlds. And then a user called Amtrax91 on YouTube has made a video based on a comic that was around a while ago that you might have seen before. And he's taken it and he's voice acted the voiceover or whatever you want to call it and added in special effects and music and everything and it's really dramatic and really cool so go and check that out. And then I was also sent a map today by ADPAD309 over on the forum and he's done a map that's called the Upside Down Challenge so it's laid out much like a normal average Minecraft world except the whole world is upside down. So go and have a look at that, it looks pretty challenging because obviously you don't want to fall upwards into the sky. Then the fan art of the day is by an artist called Alexander Leon. I'll put a link to his website in the description. And he did a really cool drawing of a kind of realistic looking Enderman that's really nice and detailed, really good work. So go and check him out. And that's all for today. So I'll put a link to all of those things in the description of this video over on YouTube. If you found these videos useful, then remember to like and comment and favorite and subscribe. And also tell everyone you know who you think might find these videos useful as well. And I'll see you tomorrow.